Hi guys and welcome to episode 5's Untuck, so let's just jump straight into the episode to find out all the backstage drama. Will I be needing this? I don't know. It's gonna get shady up in here. I would listen to her songs on repeat at home when I was a kid. I was obsessed It's interesting because like I have them same obsessed. memories of like listening to her music like around the house and stuff and just ah, oh, so iconic like oh. I think Monet needs to start bringing it harder in the looks category. Yes, just because her performances are normally just spot on, but the looks for the runways, yeah. Print, and then the denim was lost after she took it off. I'm afraid the judges are gonna say, where's your denim? Everybody in this competition, everybody, I have been wowed at some point. Mm -hmm. They're there for a reason, so giving me any fever, I'm still just like, I don't see it. And, and it's mayhem. It's the same with Moni Cart for me though. I feel like her runway looks have just been a bit met the whole time, so. Carrot Top, I mean, what's her name? Cracker. <laughs> She looked stunning, and she did great. Rude. Hold said, today I had the most fun I've had since I've been here. Right. And it was. It was so fun. I think that's the point as well. As long as you're having fun, like, it's a great experience. Just go with it and just enjoy it. If yeah. I'm having fun, then I know everyone around me is probably having fun as well. And I, I shouldn't be stuck in my head about it all the time. Oh, no, like... I fucked up, I didn't do this, I didn't do that. And I'm like, that's why I was like, girl, get out your head about it. You yeah. were fabulous. And then she gets on the runway tonight, and they're like, oh my God, you were fucking sick dang. And I'm like, told you. <laughs> I know how to sew, I know how to do hair, I know how to dance, but I'm lacking self-confidence. Mm -hmm. Especially when there's a lot of big personalities and you're just constantly second guessing yourself, especially in this competition situation. I doubt myself because I don't love myself. And I never taught myself to do that. So for anybody that's watching that's younger, you should do that fast. Yeah. And that's what Rue says at the end of every episode. Can I say something really quick? It's actually very important and kind of special. Last year, the fifth challenge was the challenge that I went home on, and today is the fifth challenge. Oh my gosh, no, I didn't even realize. Yeah, and I wasn't afraid, but I needed someone to like really support me to not be afraid. Oh, thank you. You know what I mean? And we had amazing chemistry, and like if I even do get to win, it's gonna be a lot because of you too. Yay, it's RuPaul's best friend race. For about five minutes. Just focus on the task at hand. You go out there and do what you do. I think a lot of the time, the backstage, when you've got the headphones in, you know that you're going to be lip syncing. It's like the adrenaline, like the fear, everything comes in and proper, like, gets you, like, motivated and revved up for the lip sync. Show my family, you know what I mean? That I'm a good. That I'm good in the field of drag. And a lot of coming here for me was to, like, impress my family that I. I think you've shown that already so far. Like, I am very impressed with Monet. So, what's putting on some rhinestones and an outfit that fits? Yeah. Say about you being an entertainer yeah. more than you being on that stage and showing totally why you true, deserve to be here every yeah. week. You know what I'm saying? You want to show them you're a good mm -hmm. drag queen. You can lip sync every single week, all the way at the top, if you, if it works for you. It is weird. I didn't see Mayhem go either. Like this series has got me gagged all the time. Like. If I looked at episode one, I would never have thought Mayhem would have gone week five. Oh, y'all thought I was going home? Oh, no. Mm -mm. I'm here to win, duh, stupid. <laughs> All right. Party's over. Bye, y'all. Knew I shouldn't have worn the fucking hat. <laughs> Nine queens remain. Right, that is everything for week five, episode five, all done and dusted. What do you guys think about Mayhem Miller leaving? Like, I don't know, like that was a really emotional and talked and actually there wasn't any like drama, like shouting arguments for once, which makes a nice change. And just to see them sort of like all get on and like Eureka was saying about obviously it being week five with her leaving last season. So it was nice. So I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you all next week for episode six. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. I think she's wrong. Oh, honey, no, that's not true. I look like Linda Evangelista. I'm a model. I could walk on this runway in a diaper.